Hello again, good to have you with us. First tonight, an incredible classroom emergency at a WA school. Year 12 student Wyatt Hancock was in maths class when his heart simply stopped beating. As Chantal Tui reports, his teacher would have to make a life or death decision. Never expected to see that with a student, you know, a young person. I've checked for a pulse, there was no pulse, and I thought this is serious. Wyatt, can you hear me? Wyatt. It's a miracle. An absolute miracle. Like many Year 12 students, 17-year-old Wyatt Hancock believed his biggest challenge this year would be his final exams. Here at Bunbury Catholic College, Wyatt was enjoying maths his first day back after the Easter break. It was uh, like any other Tuesday. It's the third period, so straight after recess, came in got the class settled, everyone sat down. Maths teacher Mr McKenzie was setting out the morning's work. I turned around and um, I, I saw that Wyatt had fallen over backwards. I, at first I thought he was leaning back on his chair and I thought, that's a bit silly, but he didn't move. Fit and healthy Wyatt's classmates had no idea what was wrong. I went down to him and he wasn't breathing. So I've checked for a pulse, there was no pulse, and I thought this is serious. So I immediately started to do CPR, and he took a breath. You know. And I thought, oh, thank heavens for that. So I put him on his side into the recovery position. Thinking Wyatt was going to be OK, his teacher sent for the school nurse, Miranda McKee, just in case. A Year 12 student had collapsed, and they needed me, and it was pretty urgent. She would have been here in less than a minute. And as soon as she walked in, she walked straight in, she turned him on his back and immediately started doing CPR. And I'd said, I said to her at the time, I said, oh, he's having laboured breathing. And she said, no, he's not breathing. With no medical history of illness, they had no idea what they were dealing with. It was the first day of term. Thought maybe he hadn't had breakfast in the morning. Um, low blood sugar. Wyatt, can you hear me? Wyatt's heart had stopped beating for six frantic minutes. The teacher and nurse worked together. Luckily, St John Ambulance paramedics were on the scene in a matter of minutes. When I got the phone call, um, I was told it was a seizure. So I, I thought, well, that's unusual, but I, I better get there quickly. As Wyatt was worked on, his mum, Tanya, arrived at the school. Seeing Wyatt, blue um, and very obviously dead and the paramedics were doing CPR on him. They were um, actually doing the compressions on his chest. Luckily nowadays ambulances carry defibrillators. I watched as they shocked Wyatt about seven times. It turns out Wyatt suffered a sudden cardiac arrest. When somebody has a cardiac arrest, timing is everything. For every minute that their heart is not beating, they lose a 10% chance of survival. So after 10 minutes of no first aid, there's virtually no chance of pulling through. Luckily for Wyatt, he was in the right place with the right people who knew how to save a life. But Wyatt wasn't out of the woods. He was airlifted to Fiona Stanley Hospital. Dad Bruce says the family didn't leave his side as he lay unconscious. So all that's a very trying time because you're just waiting, there's nothing you can do. To everyone's shock, Wyatt made a full recovery. When I woke up, my parents told me that my heart just stopped beating and I didn't know what they what meant by that, so I had to ask them a few times. And then it finally got into my head that I was dead for a while. Wyatt is now back at school. He has a defibrillator implanted in his chest to reboot his heart just in case. At a special gift, St John Ambulance has donated a defibrillator to Bunbury Catholic College. And it's a wonderful insurance policy should the need arise. St John's Sally Simmons says it's a big milestone. The school is the 1,000th location in WA to have the life-saving device. What we encourage is that people of WA know how to, how to do CPR and that if they have a defibrillator, that it is used early in the piece. For Wyatt, it's a second chance at life. Recovery is just, you know, un unbelievable and, um, yeah, each day is like you've won a lottery, there's no doubt about it. Mm.
Yes, I've got a stupid grin on my face, I can't get off. It's just amazing seeing him sort of at school and, you know, cheeky grin and, you know, great conversation and why. I'm actually quite grateful for those two helping to save my life. Otherwise, if they wouldn't be there, I wouldn't have been. That's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to see him when he walked back into this class and sat down in his normal place. Uh, that was good. For more information on defibrillators, head to our website.